where the mind is without fear written by rabindranath tagore is one of his vastly read and discussed poems it was originally composed in bengali uh, about in 1900 under the title prarthana which means prayer and afterwards tagore himself translated it in gitanjali in 1911 so when the poem was written india was under the british rule and people were eagerly waiting to get their freedom from the british rule so this poem is written in the form of a prayer to the god the almighty for a true freedom for his country and thus tagore reveals his own concept of freedom throughout the poem where the mind is without fear where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls so in the very first line the poet prays to the almighty that his countrymen should be free of any fear the poet says that in a truly free country every person should be fearless and should have a sense of self dignity we should not be ashamed of ourselves rather should be proud of country so the people should have the sense of self dignity in the second line the poet dreams of a nation where knowledge would be free education should not be restricted to the upper class only but everybody should be allowed to acquire knowledge not only that the children should learn freely from the nature and the world around them they should not be forced memorize some predetermined lessons and this is tagore's typical concept of education in the next two lines the poet emphasizes the unity of not only of his countrymen but also of the entire world he thinks there should be no division among people based on their caste creed color religion or other baseless superstitions in other words prejudices and superstitions should not divide the people in groups and break their unity all the various regions of india and their people should be united instead of fighting amongst themselves for supremacy they should fight together against a common enemy to determine their common fate now in the lines 5 and 6 where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arm towards perfection here the poet says that everyone should speak the truth in india of his dreams no person should lie for his own advantage every man every man should make an effort to improve himself and keep trying till he reaches a stage of self perfection he wants that every person should work hard to reach their goal and they become perfect they should not be tired by working and should not be lazy and ignore their work now in next two lines where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit in these lines the, the poet says that people of his country blindly believe in their superstitions at present and he would like them to question these beliefs through the application of logic so here poet compares reason or logical thinking to a 
clear stream and in the next line he compares dead habits or superstitious beliefs to a dreary desert he wants the stream of reason not to lose its way into the desert of prejudices in short people's thought should be monitored by rational thinking not by superstition logic should rule over old baseless beliefs now the last two lines where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake line line 9 and 10 the poet wishes his countrymen to be progressive and broad minded so the poet speaks directly to god he wants his countrymen to be led by him so that they broaden the horizon of both their thoughts and their actions and if they were to do so then india would be transformed into heaven heaven where all its citizens would be truly free so in the last line the poet addresses the god as father he asks him to awaken his country into such a heaven of freedom where the above conditions meet so to make it clear the poet prays to the almighty my father to raise or lift or awaken his country to such heights where freedom would be realized at its best that is a heaven of freedom in turn he is actually praying that god awakens his countrymen so that they come out from the darkness of ignorance prejudices disunity and all other ev- evils finally in the poem the poet's message is very clear if all the people of a nation are not wise enough to lead a happy and peaceful life free from all evils they cannot enjoy their freedom well so to the poet only political freedom is not so important unless you are fearless self dignified knowledgeable truthful hard working and broad minded enough to enjoy it fully i hope you like the video keep watching thank you